What if there was a case that had good airflow, was easy to build in, but priced like a value PC case? Well, Fractal has a brand new set of cases for us, and the most popular will be the Pop Air. Let's see why and check out all these unique color options right here, right now on Robitech. Now, if you watched our Fractal Design Pop Series overview video, which you can check out right here, you hopefully remember, given the life-altering quality of that video, that we mentioned the Pop Air and Pop Silent series of cases in it. Well, today we're gonna start our ultimate review series, and up first is our ultimate case review for the Fractal Pop Air. Now, the Midtower ATX case is the most popular case on the market today. It has just enough size to fit everything without having to think too hard while also not swallowing your whole desk in the process. Now, there are a plethora of cases that already kind of compete in this area. You have the Fantex P360A, one of my favorite value cases, the Corsair 4000D, a more premium option, and then the Lian Li Landcool 2 mesh. So with the intro behind us, let's go and take a look at the Fractal Pop Air. Now there are two prices when it comes to the Fractal Pop. You have the $79.99 price, which gets you the non-RGB version of it, or the $89.99 price, which gets you the RGB version of it with your choices of colors in cyan, magenta, green, or orange. You can even opt in for like your just typical black or white. Now, you can see that this is a typical case in terms of it's made from plastic and it's made from steel. The front panel mesh has actually got a very cool and unique design. I mean, it could be polarizing whether you like it or not. Even the PSU has a removable dust filter as well. Now the case comes in at 473.5 millimeters by 215 millimeters by 454 millimeters, which puts it right around the Corsair 4000D or the Fantex P360A in terms of size, though the cost is closer to the P360A for sure. Now the front IO has two USB 3.0 ports, a mic jack, a headset jack, and an RGB controller with the RGB version only. You can also purchase an optional USB-C add-on that's sold separately for around $10, which obviously adding a lot of optional accessories starts to bring it closer in line with other premium cases, but USB-C headers on motherboards are starting to become more standard, and I wonder if people may find this more annoying than a good cost savings measure. I'm just not entirely sold on this whole thing, and I would love to know and get your opinion down in the comments below. Now, with a versatile, open design, the Pop Air supports motherboards up to full-size ATX, so if you wanted to use mini ITX and micro ATX motherboards, they're gonna work no problem. Any CPU air cooler up to 170 millimeters in height will absolutely fit. Now, when you think of the word air, you think of airflow when it comes to PC cases. And if you don't, please tell me what does come to mind because inquiring minds like me kinda wanna know. Seriously. In the front, you can fit two 120 or 140 millimeter fans or up to a 280 millimeter radiator. On the top of the case, you can fit two 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fans with up to a 240 millimeter AIO. But I'm gonna caveat the crap out of the 240 millimeter AIO, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the build section. So in the rear, you could do a single 120 millimeter either fan or AIO, and that's not all that surprising. Now, just by getting the Pop Air version over the silent gives you the option of top-mounted fans. The Air has a leg up in that department, and honestly, with the right fans, noise really shouldn't be an issue either. Onto the PSU, I've got the power. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just came to mind. Now, any PSU up to 170 millimeters in length, so like your EVGA 1000G6, given its smaller form factor than the 1000G5 or the Corsair RM850X will fit in here. Now for your storage, you have the option of three, three and a half inch slash two and a half inch combo drive mounts with two of them included down there in the bottom. And it's pretty cool how they use them. Four two and a half inch SSD mounts. And also you get two five and a quarter bay drives and seven rear expansion slots on the back of the case. Who needed an optical drive? I mean, it's still a thing, apparently big in Japan. Finally, for GPU, any GPU up to 405 millimeters in total length will fit in here even with the front fans installed. For the silent version, any GPU up to 380 millimeters with the front fan installed and 405 without the front fan. As long as we're talking about standard fans, it will be less with something like the Fantex T30s. So there you have it, the Fractal Design Pop Air in all of its glory and colors. Now, let's take a look at what a premium build might look like inside of this case, and also, let's see how it's gonna perform.
Roby, how was the case to build in? Well, it's simple. If you keep the air in pop air, the build is pretty straightforward. Now, you can actually mount an AIO to the top, but I'll be honest, it's kind of touch and go. Obviously, the smaller and less complicated the build and the motherboard, it's going to be much easier to top mount your all-in-one liquid cooler. You do have enough room to put your RGB controllers for like your Lee and Lee Infinity fans or your Corsair RGB systems. And on the left side of the case, they actually made that whole area deeper. So if you have like bigger spines or big clusters of cables, they should fit no problem. It's all more than adequate, and with a little pre-planning, your build should go pretty painless. Now lastly, and one other thing worth mentioning, is the little tray that's included with the Fractal Pop series of cases. Honestly, some good opportunities for modification if you decide to not use that little tray for like USB drives or other small PC accessories. It wasn't until after we ran our thermals that we began to understand why the price point for this case is where it is. Okay, so let's start with the temperatures of our CPU with a Core i7-12700K cooled by the Noctua U12A. So at idle, with open case, we see things sitting at 24 degrees Celsius and an only slightly warmer 26 in the closed case scenario. Great idle temperatures and no issues whatsoever. Now when we pump up the heat and start pushing the CPU to its limits, we see things jump up to 80 degrees in the open case and 4 degree warmer to 84 in the closed case. Honestly, for the price and value, totally healthy and not concerning at all, given what you're actually getting with this case. Our EVGA RTX 3080 Ti for the Win 3, just at idle, sitting there waiting to play one or two of your favorite games, we see things sitting at 35 in the open case and an eight degree jump to 43 in the closed case. Now, when you start playing your favorite games and using the GPU as God intended, of course, things start to warm up more than just a bit. We see things jumping up to 80 in the open case scenario and a four degree warmer 84 in the closed case scenario. Okay, Roby, so you alluded to the issues you're having from a cooling standpoint, what's, what's up? So I wanted to temper this a bit because I wouldn't call this an issue per se, not really. But here's the deal, the case comes in at a great price point of 89.99. So the price point had to be hit in some way. And that's why Fractal included 1200 RPM fans in this case. Yes, there are better performing fans. Now, for like a 12700K and a 5800X, or even maybe a 5900X, this isn't gonna be an issue for air cooling. Funny enough, I think this is a good dilemma in a case like this, because this case does look and feel premium enough that unlike other value cases, like I would even argue like the P360A, that you may actually want to put a premium PC inside of this thing. They're two for two here between the Fractal Torrent and now the new Pop series. At $89.99, this case has an incredible base price. And even though there were some clear indications of what Fractal did to hit that price point, there are some really cool extras for this case. Things like that nice magnetic cover or the tray in the front or the unique SSD mounting options or even just these really crazy cool color options. Now, none of these were really needed. All of them factor into the cost of the final chassis but Fractal included these additional options while still keeping that absolutely awesome price, which is fantastic. So if you're looking for a low cost, premium feeling, quality air-cooled case that cuts cost in all the right places, but can still make your build look like a thousand bucks or more, then maybe look at the Fractal Pop series of cases. So what did you think of the case after our review of the Fractal Pop Air? Tell us your thoughts and maybe you can win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about our video. What surprised you, etc., about the build, the case, or the video in general. Just not, I deserve to win. Can I has a free PC in the Fractal Pop Air in Magenta? And can you send me some toe picks for Tom or something similarly weird or lame? You also need to ensure that we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So put your email in your YouTube profile because we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. So what are your thoughts on the Fractal Pop Air? What do you think of the price? What is your favorite color? And what do you think of the optional accessories or would you rather have like everything included? I'd love to know all that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? We will be building in 
a Pop XL here very, very soon. So you can check that out. Go ahead and like and subscribe to Roby Tech Live. Have questions about the Fractal Pop Air or any other tech related questions and check out our amazing Discord server over at discord.gg slash robytech where we have other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at robytech.com or at robytechdeals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things tech from PC components to televisions to games to you name it. Finally, you can also follow me and my incredible team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.